Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd share 10 things that I've had in my closet for over 10 years. Now, this is a video I had seen a few other YouTubers do and I thought it was a really fun one. I always love hearing stories about people's stuff and the things that they've gotten a lot of use out of that are really great quality or whatever the case may be. And so I decided to share mine. And if you have done a similar video or would like to do a similar video, let me know in the comments below because I would love to watch yours. And before I get started, I just wanted to apologize. It is a really rainy day outside, so I have my ring light on. And if anything looks a little strange on camera, that's what it is. But um, yeah, I've got 10 items here. So in the spirit of using what I have, um, and really loving and appreciating what I have, I'm going to share this with you now. So the first piece that I have had for 10 plus years, actually just going on 10 years now, is um, my Louis Vuitton Speedy 30, the OG. <laughs> um, I purchased this bag for my 40th birthday and I just turned 50 in September. And so um, yeah, she is now 10 years old and she's an absolutely timeless beautiful classic bag i'm really glad that i got the classic style i think it's something that i will have in my collection for years to come and um, she's absolutely beautiful i'm really glad that this was my first luxury handbag i remember getting it um going into a louis vuitton store and actually being a little intimidated going into a louis vuitton store um but yeah i came out with her and i'm so happy i did and it's something that i still love and use and i haven't been using it a lot lately just because i haven't been reaching for big bags but um, i still love her and i'm sure she will get a lot of use in the years to come the next thing I've had for 10 years or more in my closet are these Levi's 501 cutoff shorts. Now these started as um, vintage Levi's 501s that I had picked up um, at an Army Navy store when I lived in New York State. Um, it was called Udelco for anyone who may be familiar with that. And I think that's Orange County, maybe Rockland County, New York. Um, but anyway, I love these shorts. I get a ton of use out of them still. Um, I used to love going to that store and picking up old school 501 vintage Levi's. They had some really amazing deals. I remember getting these for like $10 and stuff back in the day. And, and I just used to wear them all the time. Um, and these were originally, like I said, long jeans. Um, and over the years I have cut them into shorts and this is I had many pairs but this is the only pair I have left from that time and um, I'm always on the hunt for good vintage Levi's so if you know of any places that sell them let me know in the comments below and um, yeah love these and another piece of denim that I have had for over 10 years are these Gap girlfriend jeans these are the destroyed girlfriend jeans that I think were kind of the first style they had released as girlfriend jeans. I know they're still making them. I don't know if they've called them, if they call them something else now, but these ones have quite a bit of wear. They started off with some wear, but then I have just broken them in and broken them in and they are amazing. Um, I love the fit of these. I think they're kind of perfect for right now because we're kind of getting into the straight leg or I'm getting into the straight leg jeans and these are pretty much a straight leg um, and I like to wear them just a little bit cuffed at the bottom, um, a little bit cropped and I just love them and they're so soft and just perfect. I had actually two pairs of these and one of them I ripped quite a while ago right up like the crotch area <laughs> onto the butt. It was not good. Um, so I could have probably patched them and saved them, but um, they were getting really, really thin and really worn. And so this is the only pair I have left. And I kind of wish I had kept the other ones, but they're so soft and just comfy and I just love them. Next thing I've had in my closet for over 10 years is this cashmere wrap from Banana Republic. Um, I remember getting this when I was working uh, back in North Carolina. I used to keep this on my chair at work because I was always cold in the office and it's something that has served me really, really well over the years and I've actually bought several since. Um, I've got a few from Banana Republic, a few from J. Crew, and even though I don't get a ton of use out of them in Florida, they're great for travel. It's a great um, thing to take along with you to kind of use as a little blanket on the plane. They're also great for, you know, if you're just going somewhere like a formal occasion and you don't want to take a coat or a jacket and you need something just to wrap around yourself, this is really a great um, option for that and I just absolutely love them. Switching into a few accessories, the next thing I've had in my closet for 10 years or more are my Ray-Ban aviators. 
this particular style aviator is just um, really classic and something that I know I've had for over 10 years, but I've had several other pairs. I've bought them, broken them, sat on them, um, lost them, given some away to my husband. Um, but this pair uh, are, I think, the only ones I've had that I've had for 10 years or more. And they're just sort of a classic style um, green lens with the, these are polarized and these um, actually are in the kind of gunmetal color. So love these. Something that I feel like is timeless, will never go out of style, and one of my favorite brands of sunglasses. The next thing I have in my closet that I've had for over 10 years is this belt. This is from Target, and this is actually one of my most used items in my closet that you don't probably ever see. It is on it is on every time I wear jeans pretty much and um, I normally don't tuck a lot of things in because I am quite short-waisted and it doesn't look so great on me but this is such a great find. I got this on the clearance rack like many many years ago and it's just something I wear with kind of everything um, and it's great because it's so adjustable and I bought it in a large size so I've worn it with kind of um, hip hugger jeans when those were a thing I've worn it with high-waisted jeans and everything in between and um, it just always works so yeah I love this belt the next thing I've had in my closet for over 10 years are this particular pair of Converse all-stars I know that I've had these for over 10 years because I actually bought them when we were um, in London my husband and I and we were doing so much walking one day that I was tearing up my feet in the shoes I was wearing and I needed to get um, a new pair of these anyway so we kind of spotted some in a little local store a little local shop and I ended up getting them and I've tried to take good care of these ones um, since that time I've had so many pairs of Converse all-stars from low tops to high tops and so many different colors for so many years but this particular pair um, I have kept in my life for over 10 years and I absolutely love them the next piece I've had in my closet for over 10 years is this oversized shirt from Express uh, this is just a really kind of standard flannel shirt, um, but it's kind of a lightweight flannel. And when we moved to Florida, I got rid of so many of my old school L.L. Bean flannel shirts. It was heartbreaking, <laughs> but I knew that I wasn't going to be um, dressing that way, living here very much. So this is really the only one that made the cut to come with me. And I've had it for over 10 years. It's something I get a ton of use out of. I love just throwing it on with kind of a tank top and leggings or a pair of jeans and um, you can, it's a really versatile piece, something I wear kind of all year long um, because it does keep me warm in the air conditioning and it's a nice sort of lightweight flannel material and I just absolutely love it. And another shirt I've had in my closet for over 10 years is this Banana Republic chambray oversized, another oversized shirt. Um, this is another shirt I love to wear just over a tank and leggings or with a pair of jeans, usually white or black jeans. I don't really like to do the whole, um, you know, denim on denim thing. I just don't like it. Uh, but anyway, I really love this shirt and I've had so many chambray shirts over the years or denim shirts over the years. And when we moved, I had to let a lot of them go because I knew I just wasn't going to wear some of the heavier denim ones. But this particular one made the cut. And my last item that I've had in my closet for over 10 years is this denim jacket also from The Gap. Um, this is just a really classic denim jacket that is so soft and comfortable and wonderful <laughs> and I've had so many denim jackets that have come and gone since but I've just held on to this one just because of the comfort factor it's just a really classic style um, right now I do have another denim jacket I have two other denim jackets one also both also from the gap one of them is just a white one because that I thought would be you know a good piece to wear in Florida even though I haven't worn it yet um, and <laughs> the other one is a oversized denim jacket that I've actually gotten a lot of wear out of so haven't used this one too much but I do like to wear it kind of over um, especially dresses like maxi dresses and things um, when I'm going out in the evenings but I really have not had a lot of occasions here in Florida where it's been cool enough to necessitate a jacket I usually will take like a lightweight sweater or wrap or something I can just throw over me um, but it definitely is something that has gotten so much use over the years and something that I know I will continue to use, especially as I travel. Um, and yeah, it's just so soft and comfy and I love it.
So those are 10 things I have had in my closet for 10 years or more. I would love to know some of the things you've had for 10 years or more. Let me know in the comments below. And um, I didn't include, by the way, kind of jewelry and things that are sort of more sentimental things. I could have done a whole video on jewelry I've had for 10 years or more, including obviously my wedding rings and things like that. Um, but I thought I'd kind of mix it up and kind of really go through things that I've had literally in my closet for 10 years or more. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And thank you all for watching. I will see you soon in my next one.